This is In for Life TV headline news, September 16th. I'm Margot Dutkevich. Israel will pay the price for invading Syrian airspace, warned Imad Mustafa, Syria's ambassador to the U.S., in an interview published in Newsweek magazine Saturday. He also refuted reports of North Korean and Syrian cooperation. Meanwhile, Deputy Chief of the Hezbollah, Sheikh Naim Qassam, said Syria will not likely go to war with Israel. Israel cannot divulge information on what the country is willing to give up before the beginning of negotiations with the Palestinians because it will weaken the country's stance, Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni said Saturday. Livni called for decisive action, not necessarily military, in the Gaza Strip. Meanwhile, it was reported Sunday that the Palestinian leaders are seeking to postpone the Washington summit. The leader of Al-Qaeda in Iraq has offered money for the murder of a Swedish cartoonist and his editor, who recently produced images deemed insulting to Islam. The group offered to pay $100,000 for La Vilk's murder. Israel police will question Prime Minister Ehud Olmert this week on allegations that he tried to help billionaire friends in the sale of Bank Lumi before coming Prime Minister, Channel 10 reported Saturday. Police suspect that Olmert committed the fences when he was finance minister in 2005. Hundreds of Hamas security forces trained Saturday for a possible Israeli incursion into the Gaza Strip, firing automatic rifles and shoulder-head grenade launchers in their first extensive exercise since they overtook Gaza in June. Israel's cabinet has yet to decide on what action it will take in response to the Qassam attacks. Israel officially began winter time this morning after turning the clock back one hour to 2 a.m. The winter clock will remain in effect until March next year. Despite this, weathermen promise that temperatures will remain high and hot during the coming week. Infolive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages, live from Jerusalem? InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.